Hi YouTube, it's Jen. So I'm here to review a new scent from Bath & Body Works called Pure Paradise. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist. Really pretty packaging. The scent is already available online and stores are getting it in later this month. Some stores already have them, you just kind of have to ask around and check. But I really like this fragrance. I came into it kind of with low expectations, but I hadn't heard much about it. You know, this huge wide release like from a red or anything like that. So it wasn't really hyped up at all and I was curious so I got a hold of one to review for you guys and I'm happy to say I love it. I definitely can see myself wearing this during the summertime. I think it's a great fragrance and I'll just go ahead and tell you what I think. I'll read you the description on Bath & Body Works' website. They say it's a summer chic blend of sparkling star fruit and ocean kissed frangipani blossoms. It's pure paradise in a bottle. I feel like this should be like a ding and be smiling afterwards so cheesy. But I have to agree with them. To me it is paradise in a bottle. I absolutely love it. What I I think my two favorite things about this scent are first the frangipani blossoms, which if you guys aren't really too familiar with your florals, um frangipani is a common word for plumeria. So you get a really nice plumeria and it's it's really lush, it's not too heavy, it's just the perfect amount of floral without going over the top and I love that. My second favorite thing about this scent is that there's guava, and I love the scent of guava. I think it's a great summertime fruit scent. I think it's perfect. I think it goes really well with plumeria. So I think they blend really well together, and in this fragrance in particular, it just creates this really lush, clean, nice scent. I'm just such a fan. As the scent dries down, I think the plumeria just kind of stays there throughout the whole thing. It's backed up with some water lily, some other kind of clean aquatic florals. It just makes it a little bit more clean smelling as it dries down. Then finally, there is some like white musk, a little bit of woods, some coconut, well, I think coconut water in the in the base notes, which I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. Thankfully, you can't really smell anything. All it does is it kind of hunkers it down to a really nice, kind of a slight cozy plumeria guava fruit salad medley on your skin. I absolutely love it. The staying power is not the strongest on the scent. This is definitely a softer scent. If you're looking for something that's really heavy or that will stay on you for a long time, this probably isn't going to be your favorite. However, I think it smells so good, I would just get the Mr. Care on in your purse and spray on throughout the day. It's it smells that good. Definitely layer with the scent layering is going to be key to keeping your fragrance on you as long as possible. I kind of like that it's a nice subtle scent because I think in the summertime, especially when it gets really warm, you don't want to be wearing a really heavy fragrance that's going to choke people out or even give you, yourself a headache. I think this is just the right amount of really lush, pretty tropical florals, but at the same time, they wear really well on the skin, so you're just not, you know, a walking perfume bottle. It's kind of my little short take on Bath & Body Works Pure Paradise. Again, keep an eye out. It should be in stores very soon. And go ahead and test it for yourself. I always stress that. Put it on your skin. Let it wear for a little bit. See how you like it because fragrances do smell a tad different on everyone. Um, if you guys have smelled Pure Paradise yet, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. I absolutely love this fragrance. I cannot wait to buy more of it. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.